Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy. This is Tracy and Creations. Today, I just want to tell y'all, um, I've been gone for a couple of weeks. Um, just been working on a lot of different things, and also, I do have a full-time job. So, I want to let y'all in on that. Also, then to let y'all know that I'm going to start changing my videos up a little bit. There's going to be some different things going on. Number one is um, no more of me being like scripted when I do my intro and outros because truth is I'm a big goofball and I say a lot of things that are crazy and they come off wrong but that's just part of who I am so that's what we're gonna start getting um, just no more I, I have to be myself so today's video is gonna be about um, DIY and also a thrift store find with DIY with the Dollar Tree and then a thrift store find that I repurposed into something totally different using lids that um, I have an abundance of from different pots and pans that I buy and use for different things. So I wanted to incorporate using those lids because I do save them all. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get to it. Thank y'all. Okay, so first we're going to start with this chafing lid that um, I got from the thrift store. And I'm going to take the tags off of that and also this face that I got from the thrift store. And I'm going to spray those down and get those all cleaned up before we start painting. Just wanted to apologize for being out of focus um, several times during the video. I was trying a different angle. So sorry about that, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to take off the handle of this lid and then I'm going to dig through my nuts, bolts, and screws until I find one that will fit back into the hole and um, just screw it in really, really tight. Make sure that it fits really well, that nothing can leak through it. Okay, the bottom of this face has a little crack in it, so I'm just gonna take some Dollar Tree putty and fill that in and let it dry and then sand it back down. Now to secure the nut and bolts and stuff that I stuck in the lid um, and just to make sure that it is waterproof, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm actually going to put a generous amount around the top and on the bottom of the nut and bolt. Okay, so we're going to take some of our apple barrel paint and mix it with some plaster of Paris and a little bit of baking soda. And as you'll see in just a moment, I realized that I put it in too small of a container to stir around. So I do have to change that into a, another uh, Dollar Tree paint uh, kit. Well, it's a little paint holder thing. But anyway, you'll see that in the video. And you just mix that all up very well until you get the consistency that you want before you start to paint. See, I told you I had to put it in a bigger container, so FYI, start out with a bigger container. Make sure that you do stir your paint up really, really well. Mm -hmm. 
Now for the fun part. We're gonna paint this lid and then we're also gonna paint the vase. And what you're gonna do is um, you'll see me doing one coat. I actually do two coats of paint on both. Let them dry completely. I do anyway uh, in between coats. I found this little bird in my stash and decided it would go great with what I'm making. Has anyone guessed what it is yet? I'm gonna take this Gorilla Glue and start putting this piece together. Hold it down for about a minute just to give it enough time to start drying. Alright, so now we're going to take this little bird and decide where we want to place him. Um, I use some Gorilla Glue, but as you'll see later on, I had to use some hot glue because I didn't let him dry and he fell off. So, if you guess that you're right, it is a bird bath. It is so stinking cute already, but I decided to add some rope around the, the top of it because it has a little gap and I don't want any of that to show. I'm just going to use some hot glue to have that attached. So you can see where I, I pulled off my bird there because I didn't have enough glue on him. So I added some hot glue and then a little bit more of the Gorilla Glue. So if, if you're impatient, start with that first. Also, I took this Waverly Antique Wax and I'm going to dry brush it um, all over the piece just to give it an aged look. And it actually, it turns out really, really cute. Here's our final look at the bird bath and I did coat it with some clear coat um, so it can go inside or outside. Ready for our second project. This is Pure One Inspired. Um, this was made with shells, but I'm gonna make mine with rocks. So to get started, we're gonna use this Dollar Tree um, charger plate, and I'm just gonna paint it white all over, and that's gonna be on the front and the back. I use the same mixture of paint that I used on the bird bath for this one as well. So checked out at the dollar store to try to find a round mirror and this is the only one that they had so we're going to make it work. Um, as you can see you're just going to take it apart and clean it really well because we only want the glass part so I set the other to the side and maybe you'll use that in another video. So I'm just going to clean that up really well and then I'm going to take some a Gorilla Glue and a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to attach it to the center of the plate. Um, also, I'm going to cover up that the glass part while I'm working on it because you can see the ceiling in my shed and it just wasn't very pleasant looking. 
Now to add the rocks, I'm just gonna take some hot glue and just put it down and like put a good amount down and then I'm gonna stick the rocks on top of that um, this is gonna take a little while because some of the rocks you do have to glue individually so just sit back and relax maybe put on your favorite YouTube video yeah of course mine so put on a video and watch and just put your rocks all the way around it with some glue hot glue Here I'm just lifting up the mirror just to let any of the loose rocks fall and also just kind of taking my hand and going over it. So if anything's loose, it'll go ahead and fall off. And as you can see, um, I'm taking some hot glue and just adding a few more rocks in some empty spaces so um, we can go to the next part. Now we're gonna take some Mod Podge and just kind of brush it on the top of the rocks that I already have down. Once you have gone around the whole piece with Mod Podge, now you're just gonna add handfuls of rocks on top of that. And as you can see, the little bitty hand there is my great niece, Bristol. She is helping me put the rocks on top. So we're gonna do that all the way around the whole piece. We are not using the hot glue gun to attach these rocks. Now that you've got it covered as much as you want, we're gonna take some Mod Podge and we're just going to pour it over all of the rocks. You'll also take your brush and kind of spread it out a little bit, but you just wanna pour a generous amount over top of all of your rocks. Be sure to clean up any Mod Podge that is run onto your glass. I let this piece dry overnight before continuing to the next step. All right, so we're gonna flip this over and to attach the hanger, I just added some hot, not hot glue, but super glue to the back of it and then just put it where I wanted it on the back and held it down for a second. And as you can see, yes, I glued my fingers together. So I also, in between this, I tried to take uh, the little nails that go with the hanger and attach them as well, but it took me a minute to get my fingers unstuck. I had to take some 409 and spray and kind of work it through until I got my fingers unstuck. So if you use super glue, please either wear gloves or be extremely careful or you will glue your fingers together like I did. Now here's the final look of our creation. I hope y'all enjoyed it. y'all think i hope y'all like that video and please like subscribe and leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought about the video or what you'd like to see i will be bringing in some um mobile home diys because i do live in a mobile home um i, I do a lot of different things here i've already done a lot of work as it is i've done a lot of painting and 
floors, but I still have a lot of both of those still to do. So I will bring some uh, mobile home DIYs. I'm going to be doing a garden here soon. Um, also my flower beds and redoing my front porch and just some other little things. Um, maybe I'll bring a clean with me video uh, with my mobile home. Not quite sure if I'll do that or not, but if I do, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And once again, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.